uh, 7.45 p.m., your favorite time of day. <laughs> or could you simply not resist giving me the, re the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 7.45 p.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 7.45 p.m.? Uh, ac ac I mean, it's 7.46 now. You know, can't I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Should I just... I'm just gonna reboot the game. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Hell yeah. Please adjust the slider until the dog and cat are friends. <laughs> Uh, please adjust the slider until five becomes the number nine. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Oh, isn't that nice? Ooh, baby. I'm gonna go a nice, like, 75%. There we go. Wonderful. Which one of the two made-up words below is most appealing to you? Ocuboinkle or scrumtush. Ocuboinkle or scrum to Ocuboinkle for sure. Please adjust. Please don't adjust the slider. Okay. I won't. Do you know what time it is right now? Yes. Is it the time? Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Uh, yeah. What time is it anyway? What is time anyway? Oh, no, we don't know. You know, we kind of made it up. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yes, I mean, a lot of things. Help. <laughs> yes, I will help you. Will you come back to visit me? Oh, I was planning on this being the final episode of Stanley Parable. I'm gonna hit no and see what happens. Oh. That was so sad. That was so sad. What is up my Cranky Crew? It's either for Cranky Plays and welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, or I guess from the there, the Stanley Parable 2. This is probably the last time that I'll make a video on Stanley Parable. Maybe I'll stream it more or something, I'm not sure, but we're in Stanley Parable 2 All of his with more were gone. balloons. What could it mean? And Stanley whatnot. decided to go to the meeting. And buckets. Room. Perhaps he had Stanley lived in the bucket into his arms. And I'll take my bucket. And a wave of comfort rushed yes. over him. Yes, yes. We're going to go to the door on the right. Way to the meeting room. But we're Stanley go this had way. felt the bucket calling to him, mm -hmm. telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place yes, to be. Yes, the place and to be. Was. Had the bucket turned Here out to be correct? Was this better was. than the meeting room? Oh, yes, so much better than the weeding from here. Yes, perhaps it truly was. Coffee nut. How insightful the- No. No. Never mind. <laughs> the bucket was wrong. Oh, Stanley took boy. the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Hmm. But what if we go straight? Let's go to the meeting room. Is this where the new, new content is? Did I already do that? I think I, I think I did go down that the last time. I honestly can't really remember. I wonder if there's new, new, new con- There will be a reward for finding them all. How can we find them all? Trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless. <laughs> they feel to pointless, TBH. <laughs> Maybe we are the collectibles. Whoa. Damn, dude. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. But what if we go downstairs with the bucket? Huh? <gasps> I found another. Oh. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there mm -hmm. really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Ooh, mini Stanley stands. Things. Um, 
What about Stan Lorenes? Ooh, yes, Stan Lorenes. Like I like Another Stan Lorenes. Stan Lorene Lorene under your belt. Damn. Hell yeah. Stan Lorenes, dude. I like it. I like it. But Stanley okay. just couldn't do it. He to considered what? the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. Mm, and in such a competitive be. economy, why had he taken that risk? All because oh. he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Is this yeah, always what happens when you go down here? Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Is it always he endless? Down at the bucket in his arms. I am can't I remember. Crazy? He asked the bucket. Am I the crazy? The bucket returned his bucket? gaze, but said nothing at all. Isn't that strange, oh, Stanley that, thought. Oh. Usually the bucket is, is a source new? of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance mm. and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized. What did this he isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday oh. bucket. Someone else's The music bucket, is perhaps. so How good. <laughs> I end up with someone else's bucket. This is all terribly wrong. Wow. Sorry, no Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically right? grounding presence of his bucket. Who knows what this other person's now bucket could do? Were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. Yes. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, oh is it happening? Gracious. It is it's happening strange. again. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where he doesn't have the bucket I anymore. Find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me. Where? The bucket. Where are you, bucket? Could it truly be? Bucket? He forward from room to room, passing by <gasps> one bucket <gasps> after the next. Oh, None no. Were his. None oh, no. Were special bucket. These were not. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. Where are you, Bucket? He had to find the bucket. Where are you? His old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, oh. he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Ah! We're back decided to go to the at the start. Perhaps We're not going memo. to bring the bucket this time. Because since we've gotten the bucket, we've brought the bucket every time. So maybe if we go without the bucket. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We'll go on the left to start. Is there no more new, new content? Damn. Maybe there's no more new, new content. Anything in the executive bathroom. How do I find more collectible? What the f- that, what? Business strategy? <laughs> what the fuck? I am the most expensive boss. An okay, give me, pin give me the pin number. Two, eight, two, four, five. Eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't get in. Oh, but he, but he knew. He always knows. Stanley happened to but now that it's the Stanley Ter Parable two, amazing. He stepped we'll into the newly opened passageway. Will something happen? Oh, <gasps> another one. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figures. Yes. And now I'm torn between Stan Lorenes and Figlies. I like Stan. I like Stan. Your Stan. Stan. Lorene. Stan. Stan Lorenes. That you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. I do, I like it. it. I'm sure it will come to me. I like Stan Lorenes, narrator. I think Stan Lorenes is the best one we got. Can we go up? No. We have to go down. We must go deeper. I don't know how many endings. There are. But if we go through the escape Although this passageway now. had the word escape written on it, uh, the truth I'll... was that at the end of this oh, hall, Oh, that's where, Stanley that's where I'd course, die, Stanley thought better right? of it and realized he simply had I don't know. To I don't know what I've done and what I haven't done and... <sighs> I just don't know anymore. Thought if I actually so, shut down the mind the control device this time, will something new happen? Because the last time I had the bucket and then I, it was like all the birds. Right, remember? All right, Stanley, it's time but here was the proof. to the do our duty. Control. Okay, Stanley, two. It's, uh, wait. Five, three, one, two. Wait, what does that say? Is it zero, five, two, one? 
I can't read it. But where is zero? It's gotta be up there. But how do we get up there? Maybe I have to have my bucket. Hmm. Maybe I have to have my bucket. And All when right. at last he found the source of the room's power, he hmm. knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Let's do it, Stan. Time to shut this bitch down. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Is it different? Was it over? Was it? Is it? I don't know. Yes. He had won. Have he I, though? I wanted the machine. So it's just that this is just normal. We're going again. We're going again and we're taking the bucket. We're going again and we're taking the bucket because maybe all of his co workers were gone. What? what could it mean? What? Stan My bucket. I decided to go to the meeting room. What? He had simply missed a man. There's no more bucket? There's no more. Hold on. Begin the game again. What the f? Begin the game. <laughs> oh. All of his co workers were gone. What if. What if I quit quit? What if I quit quit? Let's relaunch. You won't have me here the next time the game starts, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? It's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. I'm not really, it's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again, if you can find me. Talk soon. That's really sad. What the fuck? God damn it, there's no all bucket, dude. Were... Okay, the bucket is here. I the was just looking in the wrong chaos. place. Alright, all we're gonna go back to where we were, it's and I'm gonna see chaos. if we can enter in that code. Left. Because why else would the buttons be there, right? He and the Zero, bucket would five, dismantle the controls one, for good. Two. two best friends what? standing in the bucket up against the world. How do I get they there? High five. I'm assuming that that's zero. Oh, I think it's four. I think it might be four. Okay, maybe if I turn on the power. I don't know if the doors are gonna close though. Like are the. When at last they came to the. But at the last second, the are button the doors jumped in, close? pressed the button to turn on the controls. <laughs> Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all Shit. along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? Can I go back? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Can I? Oh, it's silly birds. birds. Okay, silly, well, hold on, we go back. Silly birds. Silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Maybe we can't do it with the bucket. I don't know. I don't think we can't. Fuck. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, St Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, yeah, so he okay. relaxed for a few moments oh with some calming God. new age music. Please, I just want to, I just want to go, why? <laughs> I just want to do the button thing and see if it works. Don't give me the new age music, narrator. Just fucking... Ah. Feeling soothed and God. rejuvenated, <laughs> Stanley calmly <laughs> kinda love that, though. into the opened passageway. Okay, billionth times the charm. Let's see. Can Never we do again. it? Never again. Oh, Stanley. Can we turn back? You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these I, years, you go I and try to back. take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Two. One, four, two. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to can understand. Can I get up there? There's only so much that machine now that can do. The power is on. supposed to let it go. Turn now the controls off and leave. One, if you want to throw two, my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. One, I'm two, afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, one, two, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. What? Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh, In the fuck. event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. <laughs> the entire complex. How long until detonation then? 
Mm, let's, say let's say two minutes. Two minutes. Ah, now, okay. Okay. Fun, okay. It, two. It's your time to shine. Okay. You Zero one four star. two. It's your can we? <gasps> I can go up here. To your heart's uh. I don't. Oh, this is much better Where's than zero, what I though? Mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Where's zero? Moments until the Where's zero? Off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More zero, time to one, talk about four, you, two. Because this one's four, right? What all this means. I, I don't know. know I don't know. Start. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's just What's go. That? You'd like to know where your co workers yeah, are? Yeah, where are the co workers? A moment of solace before you're Ooh. obliterated. Four. Right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Four. I raised them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, Four. pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. I don't know. I don't know. Other times, I let the office sink Three. into the ground. I don't know what to do. Everyone inside, or I let it burn to burn. a crisp. I have to say this though. This version of events There's no zero. Amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take One, back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Three. My Maybe goodness. we just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Four seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Hold on. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the Ooh. clock. Why not? These are Four. precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, I don't dear, know what the code is. Stanley. There's no zero. You have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now. Yeah, I don't know. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Yeah, I thought I that maybe. Running from button uh, to button, uh -huh. screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this yeah. room. Yeah, I don't know. Numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or I don't know. Red button, or this door, everything. Anything, Incorrect. Something here One. will save me. Why would you think that, Four. Stanley? That this video game oh. can be beaten, one solved. I didn't have realize that that was what your okay. Hold on. Is? Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stanley. You're in for quite a I'm not gonna have enough time. But here's a spoiler for you. Four. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. Four. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. For what? This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. Incorrect. But I'm going to Three. destroy it. Three. Goodbye. First, so what? You can't. Goodbye. Employee number four two seven. Clock, That's thirty seconds you have left. To I don't know what to do. Seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Oh, will you shit. cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or uh, don't. It's all the same. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Joke. And believe me, Can you actually shut it off? At every second of your inevitable life, from the moment oh, I fade in until the moment I say, "Oh no!" And then we go boom. Damn, that's cool. I I kind of just want to look up to see if you can do it. Ah, uh, it cannot. It cannot be beat. It always counts down. Well, now All his co-workers were gone. Now I'm not mean? sure. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. What else to do? Because I, I don't think that I've gotten all the, the endings, obviously. Him, telling him but I don't know where else to go. So I'm not going to take the door on the left. I'm going to see... No, said the bucket. <laughs> don't go to the meeting room. Go, go somewhere, somewhere else. else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. All right. <laughs> go on the Good, cargo lift. said the bucket. <laughs> now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Oh shit, did bucket! Not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But this bucket but can. chose not to think about this obvious fact. Mm -hmm. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and it did. And he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. All right. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Which Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Which dark room? This dark. None of these rooms are dark. This one? Oh, this one. Okay, Bucket. Oh, what the fuck? Now pick up the phone. 
said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Okay. Hello. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Oh. Jazz music. <gasps> Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press C to take me to work with you. Okay. I kind of want to just... Okay. Oh. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Press T to take me back home. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? Yeah. To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press Y for us to go back home. Oh. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking oh. orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me There's... he took orders oh. from. Me he trusted and listened to. I now, do find comfort in the bucket. When the bucket's not bucket, here, I do feel... stupid hunk of metal. Unsettled. F to ignore anyone in your life except for me. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this but it's sort of warm for shiny me. bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice it shine does. to it. And it has my name on it. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. Damn. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More yeah. capable of transporting liquid. Yeah, it is. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. <sighs> Press K to l relive this same day with me over and over. Oh my oh, god, what am I saying? Ominous lighting. Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Press L to go home to what well, to go home to work to home to work to home. Oh no. I'm oh. I'm having feelings. For the bucket. No 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be what with the, the fuck? <laughs> Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, what the perhaps fuck? if I had oh, all the paintings bucket, of this would buckets. be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome Says situation. 13. Stanley, give me the bucket. No. Give it no. to me. Give me the bucket, no. Stanley. No. I need it. Give it uh, to me now. Uh, give close it your eyes. I don't I don't know how to close my eyes. Spooky. Why was that so spooky? <laughs> All of his co workers were gone. Was what that did it mean? a Stanley restart? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone, not with the bucket around. Is that what he normally says, or is that different? I don't know. He sounds like he's speaking slower and like more sexy for some reason. We may have reached the, the bucket guiding him. The end of what I know to This is certainly the most to get to explanation. I feel like I've done so many paths. But I feel like I'm not even close to getting everything. I don't know. It's hard to say. So what happens if me and the bucket 
Stanley and the Bucket walk straight way. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the I don't, Bucket I don't would know. both meet a violent death. I don't know if I've done this with the bucket, have I? The I'm door not sure. behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every no. opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, but. It's At time this to point, escape. Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Downward, Bucket. Downward. And you will break my fall. Bucket, I believe in you. It'll be fine. Yeah, see? Buckets don't have ankles to break. It's fine. It's great. Have I done this with the bucket? I don't know. I don't remember. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But, but the what bucket use is a sense of ease maybe when you're can't be crushed. To death? But maybe this we're not. What Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked maybe himself not. for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. No, but maybe Farewell, this is... Stanley. Oh, what if I sit down here? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, uh. as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed the violently to death. But not mine. But not mine. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. Yeah. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own <laughs> way, but this one stood above the rest. It was God a glorious damn. bucket to behold. It was. It was. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge, much like a bucket itself. The human mind is frequently empty within a cavernous void. But through the use of the exhibits in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substan substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? Damn, dude. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? <laughs> 25 buckets. A photograph of 25 buckets. The greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic, uh, catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of euphoria from the exposure to this many buckets at once. Ah, yes. 25 buckets. No more. No less. Oh, is this the original bucket? Inferno Bucket, a replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet, in spite of it all, the simple fact remains, no one can control a bucket. It's beautiful. Oh, man. What the fuck? While we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, which by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. God. No man can own a bucket, no. and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. Mm. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Yes. The hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our however clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet uh, there is yet more that is always out of reach. 
this distance inevitably is for our own good. There is something we can do, something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. What? Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. God. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket should take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. She was right. She was right. Is there not going to be a bucket now? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go no, to the No, it room. still Perhaps lets you do bucket. Mr. Memo. Damn, dude. Well, friends, I think that I am going to end this here. You know, I can't live with myself and live with the fact that I may destroy an endless amount of buckets. You know, and I don't think that I should make this bucket go through any more torment. So this is the last video of the Stanley Parable. I'm sorry that if I didn't get the ending that you wanted, I know that there is a ton of them. But I hope that you guys enjoy this game as much as I did because it was seriously so good and so clever. Very, very, very meta, uh, but really, really awesome. And it was really fun to play this game again. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is that, the cranky crew?